When you are wrapping a car audio project with upholstery materials like vinyl and carpet, knowing the right technique is important for getting perfect results. A few months ago, I started building this amplifier and DSP rack for a show car we were helping build for an upcoming industry trade show. Unfortunately, that show was canceled, but we're moving forward with the build anyhow. In this video, we're gonna be doing the custom upholstery process, applying that vinyl and carpet. Hey guys, I'm Mark, welcome to Car Audio Fabrication. Let's design build and install. In the previous video, here is where we left off. We obviously have all of our woodworking done. We have our different sponsor panels cut out here and the acrylic cut out using the laser. If I lift this whole piece, this is all going to be one piece that is held together with the upholstery adhesive once I wrap everything. And then obviously inside here, I have the space for the two amplifiers and DSP from audio control. Off camera, I am going to have this sprayed with some flat black paint just so it looks nice on the inside here. It doesn't have that raw look anymore. Now, a couple of things to bring you up to speed that I always stress in my videos, you always want to prepare for your upholstery stage. It's really, really important that you have gaps between the different pieces of material that you're going to be wrapping with the upholstery materials because those materials have a thickness to them. And just as a quick reminder, I'll put a link to this up in the corner of the screen. I recently designed and released this tool in partnership with Mobile Solutions. This allows you to perfectly determine exactly what these gaps need to be between the different pieces. The other thing that's always important in preparation for material wrapping is you want to add these rabbited grooves on the back side. Again, I showed this in the woodworking process of making these in that previous video, but you can see I've got that rabbited groove all the way around. That way I can wrap the material and tuck it to the back side. The next most important part of upholstery is just planning out our work area before we start upholstery. So we have all the different tools here that we need, including a really sharp knife with a new blade. We've got our upholstery tool to tuck the material around the backside and lock it in. We've got the CP Smart Roller to push the vinyl down into any grooves if we need to. We of course have our PPE. And then I of course have my favorite adhesive loaded up in our pneumatic sprayer. I first start with spraying all the edges with the upholstery adhesive. I wanna focus on the edges first because these are the most important areas to make sure that I get plenty of adhesive so that we can really get this vinyl tucked into those corners and sticking well. Since this is a contact adhesive, I need to apply it to both the wood piece and the vinyl itself, and I allow it to dry. You wanna make sure that you can touch it and none of it comes off on your hands, and then you know that you're ready to start applying the two different surfaces together. Now use care here, because once you do apply pressure, those two pieces are gonna be permanently attached to each other. We can now flip over the piece, and I'm going to apply some more adhesive onto the back side of these rabbited grooves that I showed you guys earlier. We make sure we get plenty of adhesive there. We cut out some of the excess material, and then we're gonna cut some fingers into the corners here so that we can pull that material into that corner and tuck it in. Here's where that rabbited groove really comes in handy. We use our pry tool to firmly apply pressure. That way we know the vinyl is locked in, and then we can use the knife in that groove to make a perfectly straight cut. We of course repeat that same process around the outside edge of this shape, and here we have our first finished piece ready for the assembly. Let's move on. So these corner pieces are gonna be a little bit more of a challenge because they have all of this detail with these grooves. Not to worry though, the first step here, we wanna apply plenty of upholstery adhesive, really making sure that we get it down inside of each of those grooves. A good tip here is to make sure that you spin the piece around so that you can hit that adhesive from both angles. Now the next very critical important thing is when we do go to apply the vinyl, we wanna just stick it to one edge and then slowly work the material into each groove. You don't wanna just lay the vinyl on top because then you're trying to stretch that vinyl down into each of the grooves, which is gonna to lead to a bad result. You need to lay it into each groove and use a good tool like this one in order to really press it in there and get it stuck in. Other than that, just like the other pieces, we're gonna flip it over, we're gonna put some glue on the rabbited groove, we're gonna trim that away, and you'll notice that I have some extra adhesive on the inside there. That's gonna come in handy later when I go to assemble this. So this is my backer board, and this is what all the different pieces are going to be permanently attached to, so I'm covering it with upholstery adhesive. That way all the different materials can stick together. Here's
Here it is, friends. We've got everything wrapped in the upholstery vinyl now. We've got the dark gray on top that matches the interior of the vehicle. We also have this light beige that matches the interior of the vehicle. Got our sponsor panel here, the silver inserts along with that blue trim. This is looking super cool. Let's get the carpet applied next. Now you always wanna think through carpeting before you just start shooting the upholstery adhesive. What most people I think would do on a piece like this is they would lay a big sheet over it and then they would try kind of wrapping it around and you're more likely to get some areas where it kind of bunches up or where you have to overstretch the carpet. The better way to do it is I've actually cut a really long strip and that strip is gonna basically go all the way around and just hug this and I'm only gonna to need to have the one seam in the back where I'll transition the two different pieces of carpet but with this being a high pile carpet that's easy enough to hide that seam and then of course I can tuck the top edge into this corner and then the bottom edge on this rabbited groove. To give you guys a better idea what I mean I just laid it on here so you can see. Let's start spraying! Check it out my friends, this is looking so cool. To get the final idea of how this looks though, we gotta get this audio control gear installed. Let's get it in place. Now while I'm bolting these in, I do wanna say a quick thank you to our show sponsor, Audio Control. The Audio Control micro amps are packed full of power for their size and they have great sound quality, especially when we pair them up with a DSP like the DM Series DM-608. The software for setting up and tuning the DM Series of processors is really easy to learn. I have a full video about that as well as videos about the micro amplifiers that you can check out at the links down in the video description. All right, the moment of truth. Let's get the cover plate put back in position and check out how this looks. So here it is. I love the way all the colors came together on this one. I feel like it's gonna look especially cool once installed in the vehicle. And I like these little blue accents to match with the audio control theme. Now moving forward on this build, there is a custom subwoofer enclosure that needs to be built that is gonna require some fiberglass and other advanced techniques. So if you guys wanna make sure that you catch that video and other videos in the future, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Next time you're picking out your amplifiers and DSP for a build, definitely check out what audio control has to offer. A big thanks to them for being a show sponsor. And a special thanks to Mike, Ron, Ali, Jerry, Marcos, William, and the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to all those guys for making these videos possible. And thank you for watching.